and called shoot, move, communicate. So just kind of a rapid fire questions that I'll nice shoot your way. And then uh, we'll make sure to get all the- uh, Oh, this live on YouTube. It's not put up later. Yeah, we'll be put it up later. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not streaming at the moment, but uh, okay. need to do that soon though. Need to get get moving on. Who, that. So you're just live. You're just going for it, or somebody else? Uh, um. So this will be on our our uh, first attachment YouTube. No, no, I get that. I'm saying, are you asking the questions or people? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask you the questions. Okay, go. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. yep. All right. So, uh, first one is uh, within your own training. What accomplishment has made you the most proud? Are you most proud of? Um. My 810 deadlift because I'm most willing my 600 pound bench press, but I feel like I'm not built to deadlift. My body's not genetically set up for it. I had one top power lifter, I'm not trying to like, you know, say I told you so, so I don't even mention name, but said I would, it would be a miracle if I were deadlift with 700 and I did 810 raw. Nice. So. Awesome. All right. What accomplishment uh, within your training, uh, if you had to pick one, what would make made you most proud? Like a training kind of lift or something? Uh, training a client or a success story or something like that. Man, I, there are so many that I could go different. That's the thing I like about the uniqueness of like my clients. Yeah. I got, so you say, oh, Julius Maddox, you know, benching at 782 most ever. Or another guy, like Tom Havlin, you know, like the, probably the greatest all around kind of like tactical athlete that can do anything with strength. I mean, so there's so many different directions we can take it out and I, I I feel like not only defending them, but even myself, because I think about it later, I'm like, no, this person, this person. Yeah. yeah. Well, if we take Julius, like what, is there something that stuck out to you about that experience? Uh, that really stuck out to you that. Sort of um, I would say, um, it's just the whole thing of watching him, him progress because I feel like, um, you know, it's somebody that was put on the earth for this purpose that's actually fulfilling it, like, you know, doing what he's supposed to do and, and just, um, you know, watching that grow and stuff. And it's it's with Julius, it hasn't been like, it's not like all of a sudden, you know, he came out of nowhere and like, you know, he's benching 315 and all of a sudden, like, I mean, it's been a steady progression the whole way. And it's hard work, you know. It, it's been been like that. Good deal. Hey, Mr. Harris is back. Look hey, at that. Back. We wish <laughs> you you missed a lot of good stuff, buddy. Oh yeah. man, I know this. <laughs> it sucks. Is this is like one of the ones I really wanted to be on? <laughs> I just traveled about three hundred miles across the, the the worst internet connection area of Mid Michigan BFE there is. Well, actually, I'll wrap up my questions and we'll, we'll kick it over to you so you can get it. Maybe, maybe Josh will let you squeeze in a couple more, but um, all right. So one word to describe like your training philosophy, what would it be if you had to pick one word? Um, efficient. All right. One word to, uh, if you had to encourage an up and coming strength athlete, what would, what would one word be that you would? Mindset. And then uh, oh, yours. <laughs> what's that? I guess mindset's one word, right? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that works. That works. Uh, one word to describe your ideal client. What would that be? Um, willing. All right. All right. Next question. If you had to miss one, what would it be? A meal, a night of sleep, or a training session? Meal. And then with uh, regards to your uh, – educational stuff, training philosophy, your personal training. Is there one parallel between everything that you've done that you feel like is led to your success? Mm. There, I think one thing gift I have, I have a good bullshit detector. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good deal. Uh, all right. Last one is uh, we, you know, we like to say we're our, our kind of mantra at first attachment is like, we're all in. And so the question is, you know, what is that thing that you're all in on right now that you're just, you know, passionate about? It's either current or in the near future um, for you. What excites you? Honestly, it's taking my clients to the next level. So there's not like a particular booker. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with that next, but all that stuff is written off of or made off of like what's really happening. So that's like the actual base level of what, you know, influences any kind of product or content. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. That that's uh that's awesome. I appreciate you going through everything. 
And uh, like I said, we'll be able to make sure for everybody out there, uh, like, subscribe, put your put comments in the comment section if we can answer questions for you uh, for the for the audience out there, or uh, or if we can shoot Josh and Josh a note. But then uh, we'll make sure that they can find you. What what are some of the best places they can find you? I know uh, Jailhouse Strong on Instagram. Yep, Waffle House. Yeah, Waffle House. Waffle House. <laughs> JoshDrink.com. JoshDrink.com. Be the best two ways. All right, good deal. <laughs> Mr. Harris, any uh, closing thoughts or questions or anything? Oh, yeah. you may have you missed one or two. I just went through. <laughs> I guess one or two. I got things. a diabetic emergency. I just went through a, a pouring, freezing rainstorm in the middle of. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have anything other than other than that. Thanks for <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, for everybody out there, uh, thanks again, and. Uh, have Thanks, for having we'll guys. I appreciate it. Uh, right. now, I'm not going to miss that meal. It's about to be ready. So. There you go. Yeah.